Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm going to be working with Photoshop Elements 2020 here, and I wanted to start these videos out, and we're going to try to keep these uh, very, very short and very much to the point. So what you're looking at right now is the uh, new organizer for Photoshop Elements 2020. I think we can bring it up here. You can see where it says uh, Adobe Elements Organizer 2020. All right. So what we want to do here is just very quickly show you uh, just a little bit of around uh, the organizer. On the left side here we have albums. These are all the albums that I've been building right now. And we'll go into these more uh, in detail later. We have folders. These are folders that are on the computer that we can pull pictures from. We're sorting by here the newest. You can sort by the oldest. At the very top here, I wanted to bring you to bring this to your attention where it says media. So media is all of the pictures in this particular album. This happens to be a trip to Maine that we took uh, last year. We can also go into people. Now people, the way we get people is not automatically tagged. So if we're in media, and we change this to oldest, I could have sworn I'd just seen a picture of me. Oh, here I am. So there's a picture of me here. So I'm going to right click on the actual photo and go to add person. And I'm going to put in here um, Jack. Click on add. And it's that easy. Now we added a picture of me. So I added a couple prior to this video. So we'll go into people now. And you'll see now if I click on Jack, it will bring all the pictures that I tag with the person's name. Here's Mary walking out there uh, on this uh, overlook we were at. Here is, can you do objects? Absolutely. So here's the objects. Here's the motorcycle, the Road Glad Ultra. So I can also do motorcycles. I'm tagging the picture based on not only the person or people, but maybe a detail of who's in there. Let's talk a minute about places. Places are... You go in and you actually pick your pictures and add a location. So I think this was actually uh, Lake Placid. I think is how you spell it. Um, nope, obviously not. Lake Placid. Let's see if that brings it up. And what it's doing, it's actually searching on the internet for Lake Placid. Um, let me see here real quick. I'll bring this up here. And um, the Let's see if I can. Uh, okay, there it is. So yeah, the spelling, make sure you have the spelling correct. Uh, it was Lake Placid. P-L-A-C-I-D. And we'll see if this pulls this up. And there it is, Lake Placid, New York. So I'll just click and click apply, and you can see now where it puts it on the map on the right. And it'll tell you how many pictures are in there. So it's really nice when you're on vacations to map where you've been in the States. That's really, really cool. All right, the next thing we're going to look at is events. So events is calendar events. So if we go back to all events, we'll be able to go in here and pull up a date and actually look for that different event that was shot on that certain date. So events is really easy. And again, this is always to tag your photos. You can see down at the bottom here, we can add an event. Uh, we can click a picture, we can add an event. So there's a lot of things you can do with the events just to make it easier for you to find your photographs. The next thing we'll talk about is under the Create menu. We have the slideshow, the photo collage, the photo prints, photo books, greeting cards, the calendar, prints and gifts, instant movies. Instant movies is if you have um, 
Photoshop Elements Premiere. So this is not going to work with just Photoshop Elements. A video story will. You could do a video story, uh, a video collage. I think all three of those are not. You can do a CD jacket, DV jacket, or a CD DVD label. Who really does those anymore? I don't know. And we will go into these in detail later in a later video. Here, sharing, we can email them. We can send it by Flickr, Twitter, um, Vimeo, YouTube, or we can do a PDF. So we go back to media here. All right. And back to that motorcycle trip we were on earlier. Down here, you can bring up the home screen, which is just where we start from, right? We'll build a slideshow. Go into the editor. We'll do that later on. Instant fix. I'll talk about that in another video. Add an event. Add a location. We were kind of in those already, but you can click on a picture and you can add a location for that picture. So we can just do one picture, select it, and add a location to that. So you might ask, can you load, can you go to the end of this row, hold my shift key down, select them all, and again, add a location that will add a location for the six selected items it's very easy to do we can rotate we can undo and then we can hide the side panel so that is a quick overview of the new Photoshop Elements 2020 organizer and as I said we'll get back into this and I'll show you how to uh, create albums and sub albums and all that stuff in groups and uh, let's see what else it is here uh, yeah, new album categories, albums, import albums, and, and I'll show you all that in future videos. All right, thank you for, so much for watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the videos, please click the subscribe button. I would appreciate that. And I hope you join me back here to learn more about Photoshop Elements. Uh, this happens to be 2020, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.